Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Battle Simulator 2. Now, I've been wanting to do something that involves you all in some way for quite some time. I tried this with the, uh, the other battle simulator there, not the previous one to this one, it was, I can't remember the name of that simulator off the top of my head. I've got it kicking around somewhere, um, but, um, what I wanted to do was do this kind of thing here where we create uh, individual characteristics here and um, we either fight with or against each other and I'll, I'll show you how this is going to work. Now for me personally, I am going to be a standard zombie. I, am, I have my own unique set of rules so you understand what's going on here, but I'll show you an example of what you individually would be doing. So, my health is always going to be exactly what my subscribers are. I have 371 subscribers as of recording this. That is going to be my health, whatever my subscriber count is. My damage is going to be multiplied by the number of digits in my subscriber number. I have three digits in my subscriber number, three, seven, and one. Therefore, my damage will be tripled. My attack speed will be three. My attack range will be six. And we will have a nice day. I'm not going to do impact. I'm not going to do splash damage. That seems kind of unreasonable. And I'm absolutely not going to be ranged or anything like that. So this will be me. Now for all of you, and I'm going to do a Spartan as an example here. These are the Spartan's base stats. Now, here's how this is going to work for all of you, should you choose to participate in this. Again, this is an open invitation. I'm going to be doing these battles once every Wednesday. If you want to have a character made, go for it. For all of you, you will start with, at this time, double the base stats of that unit. So in this case, let's say, uh, we'll, we'll call this particular custom Leonidas for kicks. Uh, we'll, we double all of the stats here. All those stats that can be doubled. And this would be a, a typical example. Now, my stats are tied to my subscriber number. Yours will not be. You would not only have your own character, but each of us is going to have a squad. Leonidas here, for example, in reference to the movie 300, he's going to have 300 Spartans as his squad. Now, should Leonidas win uh, a battle, he will, or you would, if this was you, you would have the option of either increasing your squad number by 3% or increasing your stats by 3%. Totally up to you. Uh, for every battle your team wins. There's going to be two teams, Team 1 and Team 2. We'll do this for the remainder of the year. Maybe I'll add another team uh, next year. But this is something I do want to consistently do. So now we have two customs. right? We have myself and we have Leonidas, the sample custom. So this is from a kind of warm-up to see how this worked. So here's me. We're going to temporarily increase my number to 1,000 so I can actually see me on the map here. Or 100, I guess. Where am I? Where am I? There we go. Temporarily increase this here. Okay. Now I'm also going to grab me a number of zombies exactly equal to my subscriber count, which again is 371. My, my squad number will always be exactly my subscriber count. So that's going to be me and my squad. Uh, and then we're going to use the example here. Uh, we have... Oh, uh, we got to do the custom, don't we? Custom. Not Archer Full Auto, that's cheating. Team 2. Uh, where is... We need... Oh, he's right here. Okay. Let's get really in here. There we go. See that little green dot is me. Okay. I could probably stand to move back slightly. I can't move me back. There we go. And then we need to bring Leonidas down to one. 
because having a thousand Leonidas's would be a little OP. We're going to have a nice close battle here. And then, again, in reference to the famous events slash movie slash everything, we are going to do a nice, there they are, 300 Spartans. All right. And this is going to be the fight. Uh, so, let me see, team two. Yep, here we go. And you can choose either side. I'm not going to, like, have you... Oh, you must join my side, because whatever. Nah, you can choose to be against me if you want. If you want to do this. If you want to participate, that's totally fine. Uh, I would be glad to uh, have some participation. Every Wednesday, I'm going to be running one of these. With me versus Leonidas until people start joining. And then, you know, what have you. Why is this loud as I'll get out? There we go. We'll do this. And, uh, yeah, this is a really close fight here. Let's go. I'm not going to take control of myself. That would absolutely be cheating. There are 70 more zombies than Spartans. I am theoretically stronger than Leonidas. Uh, my zombies are getting absolutely butchered. Oh, holy cow. This is disturbing. Oh, no. This is going to go very poorly. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that was an absolute massacre. Oof. Well, that was a slaughter. That What was the actual stats? 36 kills to 366. <laughs> wow. That's, that's horrific. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to... Uh, this was awfully quick because there's only the two squads, of course. But if you want to join either for or against me, you're welcome to do so. Uh, just let me know what... Actually, I should probably... Um, Tell you the very few restrictions on uh, what you can pick. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, there we go. The only things you can't pick are full auto archer or full auto Sherman because obviously that would be OP. And you cannot pick anything that falls under the heroes category because I've run test battles with these. They're all OP. At the end of the year, I do intend on having all of you with me versus all of the heroes, however many are available at the end of the year. It's the only time in which you will all be forced to uh, work alongside me, is that one fight to see if we all collectively can take out, by that point, the uh, the four heroes here. Um, and at that time, if you wanted to switch teams or create a third team, that will be available as well. Uh, but that is what I want to do as a, as a kind of a, a thing to try. So uh, if you're interested, just leave a comment down below. Go for it. Um, yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. If you wanted to... Actually, I will put an addendum here. If you have a channel and you want to use your subscribers the same way I use mine here, let me know. This is... I know normally self-promotion isn't really popular here, but for this series, go ahead and promote yourself. You have my full-on permission to promote your own channel in the comments if you want to. Uh, partially so that way I can, you know, actually go to your channel uh, personally and check you out, see your subscriber count. Uh, you know, this is a, a rather weird way of um, <laughs> creating, I guess. Uh, professional connections, well, I, I say professional, but I'm not actually in this for the money, so I guess semi-professional? Because I know some people are going to be uh, looking at YouTube for the, the money, but I don't particularly care personally, so I guess I'll describe it as semi-professional, but it's a way to make uh, connections in the YouTube community, uh, since I'm so good at it. <laughs> but yeah, th for this particular series, if you feel like promoting yourself, uh, go ahead. Shout yourself out. I, You have my full-on permission. If you need to uh, use this video as evidence of that, just this series, go for it. I, I do not mind at all. Uh, so if this interests you, just throw a comment down. Um, again, if you have a channel, you're free to choose either the standard form or the, I guess, what I'll just call the YouTuber version. If you don't have a channel, you're you're honestly probably going to wind up stronger than any of the YouTubers anyways, unless somebody's got, like, thousands and thousands of subscribers. <laughs> In a very, just with a couple of victories, I think the uh, regular viewers are going to be stronger than most of us anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah.
but yeah, if these rules ever change, I'll not only update you on these whenever the next battle is, but retroactively apply any changes as well, because most of these changes will be improvements. I've got some ideas. I know some ways in which I do want to improve this in future, but that will come with time. You'll know about it when you need to, and again, they'll be retroactively applied. So I hope this piques your interest. I, I think this would be a really fun thing to do. Um... So yeah, just uh, leave a comment down below. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, please ignore me and have a great 24 hours.